obviously uh, uh, it, it was a, a close game, a tight game. Um, we didn't execute uh, to our very best, but uh, we had a couple of injuries. Uh, Jake Campos will be uh, uh, seen by the doctor tomorrow. Hopkins will also be seen by the doctor tomorrow. Both of those guys will have MRIs. Um, uh, but for the rest of the guys, uh, uh, Kent Perkins was just cramps, and uh, um, Matt was just his uh, got hit on the knee, but he'll be fine. Matt Jones. So those are the guys that that we had. As far as the game's concerned, uh, we, we damn near won every statistical uh, um, category except uh, points. Uh, we had 83 plays, 390 yards, total yards. Uh, obviously, we had some big plays late in the game that created the unbalance in the yardage. Um, you know, but the, the things that kill you too are the penalties. You know, we were had eight penalties for 61 yards, and they only had three for 15, and uh, that's a little lopsided in my eyes, but. That's what the officials said they had seen. Um, the play that probably broke our back was the uh, um, the interception and, and the return that uh, our players felt that you know it was a offsides. I'll have to see it on tape, but like I told them before, there's no whistle. You got to keep playing. Got to go get the guy on the ground. You can't you can't stand there and watch and think that they're going to throw a flag even if there is instant replay, because they can still blow the call. So uh, that's on me because it start, starts at the very top. It start, starts with me. And uh, I guarantee you those mistakes will not be made again. Uh, we're too good of a football team. We can't allow those things to uh, um, become part of us. And, and, and to be quite honest, they, they should never have been a part of us to begin with. So that will be corrected, it will be rectified, and we will move forward. Uh, on the brighter side, uh, Jordan was 30 of 37 and passed for 284 yards, which was, was good, you know, he had a, had a good night. And, and uh, had three touchdown passes, and uh, we rushed 43 times for 126 yards. Those are the things we're trying to continue to do, um, and that's important. So it keeps defenses balanced. We had the possession, 37 minutes, 14 seconds. But like I said before, uh, none of that matters if you if you can't outscore the opponent, and, and we didn't today. Questions, coach, over here. Uh, going back to last week, you go into that game, huge underdogs come out with the win. Coming into this week, again, huge underdogs, but you're competitive to the end. Uh, does your team embrace that underdog mentality whenever they take the field? I, th I think probably the most important part of, of what we're doing, uh, they got to understand, we, you know, first two games we knew we were going to have to be on the road. And you have to be road warriors, you have to be resilient, and you have to embrace those moments. Uh, you can't shy away from it. You there's um, the, you can't uh, be be having trepidations about it. You you, you got to embrace it wholeheartedly and and go after it. And I think our team is growing that way. They're maturing that way. And I think even at the end, uh, no one quit. Everyone was fighting to to try to find a way to win. And and that. That'll uh, make us much better going down the road. And now they felt that sting. And it's never fun. Uh, I don't care what you do in life. My children will, will attest to this. Never embrace losing, ever, ever. And they know better. And, and I'm trying to teach the team the same thing. You don't ever embrace losing. Don't point the finger at anyone else but yourself. I'll take it. I'll look at myself in the mirror and be very critical of the things that we did or did not do. And I'll do a self-evaluation on myself and make sure that uh, next week it's it's cleaned up. 
Yes, Coach uh, Ahmad, Day, the Garage Department of Media. Um, I want just a couple questions. Um, number one, um, with uh, Jordan Tamu and the game he had today, uh, he was remarkably efficient today. For uh, I think at one point I saw he was 19 of 21. Um, so first, um, was there anything that you saw in the film uh, watching the Roughnecks that uh, you know that that allowed you to uh, have that efficiency throwing those short passes? And two, on the interception, the first one, the one that was returned to the one-yard line, um, that one just seemed to be, uh, was that a bad route run or uh, just a bad read by Jordan? I think the ball sailed on him. Uh, talking about the, I'm talking about the second one, right. the interception. Um, I, I, the ball sailed on him a little bit. Um, and, you know, uh, <laughs> they happen. And uh, sure, we'd love to have, wish we could have it back. But, you know, uh, our, our defense, I thought, you know, at times did a really nice job of uh, firming up. And once we got our feet on the ground, but uh, they also know that, you know, we can't allow some of the things. We got to get, uh, get three and outs. And, and there was too many uh, uh, extended drives. Um, uh, I have to laugh, I, you know. Um, their quarterback's an exceptional player. I, I think he's an exceptional player. But it, it was amazing to me when we threw him on his back, they, we had to review the play. I, I mean, those plays, those are, those are plays we shouldn't even be looking at. We're, we're taking time out of a game to look at a guy land on his back, and, and then he jumped up and rolled over and start playing again. Blow the damn whistle and let's go on to the next play. Um, as far as the, the rest of it, um, uh, you know, uh, Jordan is growing weekly, and, and I really love that about him. He's a sponge. Uh, Chuck has done an exceptional job with Jordan. Fortunately for us, you know, Coach Long played in the NFL. He's been under center. He knows what it's like. He he can give Jordan those experiences. No, as a coach, I I couldn't. You know, I can I know certain things that I see as a receiver that I can say to him in his reads and things. But the the things that Chuck sees, he sees it as a quarterback and as a guy that's been behind center. And and I think that will weigh heavily for Jordan in a positive way so that he'll, his growth will continue. Um, Coach, you went in down at the half, I think 21 to 6, but then you came out and you all had two long drives, you know, to make the game close. Did that, uh, having those long drives, did that take a lot out of your team as well because you all were playing catch up? You know, when, you, when you're in those situations, uh, if you're not prepared for them, sure it can. Uh, I think our team's in, in great condition. I think that uh, um, overall, it, it wasn't as much as that. It was just the mistakes. You know, uh, we shot ourselves in the foot a couple times. We had the ball when we were backed up down and down on the goal line a couple times. Where we jump off sides two, three times down there. You know, he, let's be honest. We played well enough to win, but we didn't deserve to win. I, I, I'm just going to be. And like I said to you before, it starts with me. And trust me, we'll rectify it this week at practice. Coach Chrissy from the United States Today Sports Media Group. Uh, Jordan is largely regarded as one of the most likely quarterbacks to go on to the NFL from this league. Right now, considering that he has been on NFL practice squad before, right now, what stands between him and being an NFL-ready quarterback? Probably just reps. You know, his, this is going to be his resume. And as of now, he, he's showing very well, and, and, and we understand that. But the, the good thing for Jordan is he has Coach Long as his, as his quarterback coach and his offensive coordinator. And so, you know, Jordan didn't even start until he was a senior. So these reps are vital for him, for not just for in the future, but, you know, for our future. You know, as, as in St. Louis, and uh, if he continues to grow in this manner, you know, we're gonna, we're going to be very happy with the things that he does, and and you can see his leadership growing, and and uh, how he is starting to 
he has a quiet confidence about him, but he's starting to become more vocal. So that's even great to watch and, and see it uh, uh, be nurtured and grow as it grows with him. Also so, noticed uh, Nick Fitzgerald moved to the bottom of the depth chart at quarterback. Kind of a unique player in terms of versatility and what he brings. Can you elaborate more on his role in the offense moving forward? Well, you know, Nick has a, a special skill set that we like. And, and um, you know, um, Right now, he has a little package that we put together for him, and that will continue to grow as, as, as things continue to go move forward. And we like what Nick can do, and he'll continue to grow as a quarterback also. Okay, last question. Uh, Jerry Romero from Mexico.com. Um, June Jones said that there was a couple times where he noticed that the home crowd might have gone to you guys. So I was curious how disruptive was actually the, the home crowd, and how, what does it mean that you guys will be back home for the next two games? Well, uh, you know, like I said before, I could sit here and make an excuse why we did this or that. It, it, come on. You know, you, you got to go play the game. Uh, it's not the first time we played in a loud place. And, you know, last week was loud. And, but you, you got to make your adjustments and you got to uh, understand that th that's part of the game. And, and we understood that and we were prepared for it. We, you know, the, the tough part of it that happens is when you get a, a, a player hurt and you have to bring another player in and then it, he hasn't had as many of the reps. So, but it's still no excuse, you know, we still got to be ready to play. And, um, that, that's why some guys are starters and some guys are backups, but when it's all said and done, it's next man up. And what about the, uh, you know, you guys being home for the next couple weeks? Well, it'd be nice because we won't have to get on a damn plane and go somewhere. <laughs> Follow the Garage Apartment on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Brand new tweets, photos, videos. Hashtags. Let me show you something real quick. Follow me on social media. And subscribe to the Garage Apartment Radio on YouTube.